Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Valentine's Day is in the air. Yeah. And so, as we usually do this time of year, we're going to start taking a look at some smartwatches for the ladies. Inside this nice presentation box with black felt covering a beautiful golden watch with some sparkle glitz in it and a bezeled, uh, bezel, a bezeled bezel. Hey, I like that. We have a brand new smartwatch. Really nice, really tiny, and really fun. And it's coming to us from Run Doing. These guys are making a whole variety of, of fun stuff and, and really powerful stuff. We've already reviewed one of their ECG watches, and now we're stepping into the ladies' smartwatch waterproof fashion design. Not only do we see it in the blue and a gold, but we got other colors too. But before I go to that page, again, AliExpress, check the show notes down below for a link over to this site. And when they're putting together a really nice coupon that you can apply to get a discount price. In terms of some of the other designs, look at this. It's in silver, a nice bright purple, the rose gold, which is what we have here, and a sky blue. Now, as far as what features it has, it's a basic smartwatch. It's running all these different languages. A little 1.04 inch um, display, which is great. A smaller watch, we're glad to see that. All these different functions come with it, including pushing message information. So you've got the, all the smarts, a 240 by 240 screen, a reasonable, uh, battery in it, so you should get a decent amount of life between charges, considering what all it does. And yes and none and so forth for all of these different um, aspects, okay? And that's straight out of the specs. But we're not about specs on this watch. We're about the design. Look at this. It's a, wow, really nicely done. Magnetic class. Okay. Cool. What else have we got in the box? The charging clasp. This is a standard USB charger with a connection that makes it fairly easy to just slap it on. You got the pins right there. You've got the clasp. And let's see if Uncle Tix can figure this out. Are we going to go this way? Yeah, we're going to lay it right on here like so. Like so. Plug it in, charge it up. And you got yourself a nice little watch. The manual inside of it is more like a book. Must have multiple languages. Let's page through it, get an idea what it's going to do. Wow, it's brand new. Uh, works with Android, iOS, Bluetooth 4.0. The key, it says, is there in a touch area. So we've got two different aspects to it. A quick start guide for um, getting you going and the QR code you're going to scan for the tethering app to go with it. Then we get into the app. You get to see how you connect it. Uh, binding, they call it. We call it tethering. And then your startup. Uh, when it's off like this and you do a long press, you're going to get into one of the different uh, watch faces to get you going. And a nice colorful brochure here shows you in the on state how you can cycle through all of the different graphic conditions of this watch. Very pretty, very uh, colorful, very easy to understand and operate. Probably could use this watch for kids too to get them introduced into the smartwatch world. And some other functions and precautions and then we're on to other languages. Okay, as we always do, and we always recommend, we're going to charge it up first. Make sure you got a good battery charge on it, and then turn it on to give you a walkthrough of what it can do. Well, here it is on my masculine hairy arm. Uh, ignore that, but it gives you an idea of what it looks like. Let's turn it on and see what it'll do. First of all, it boots up like lickety split into a really nice screen. And it's got a magnetic clasp, one of those mayonnaise kind. I know it's not mayonnaise, it's malonese, right? 
something like that <laughs> anyway you can pull it on and off and it just magnetically couples sweet sweet uh let's walk through it we've got a a watch screen that is changeable that's basically your time the button on the side turns it on turns it off and long press will turn the whole thing completely off again and there's a sensitive spot right down here that lets us go through this beautiful graphics of step count and your calories burned doesn't that look nice i mean this this is an elegant sports fitness smartwatch. there's our heart rate turns on the diode that's the last reading i got here's a uh, blood pressure already tested that out too and there's a reading for you and uh last night's sleep time haven't tested that didn't sleep with it but that would give you the totals from the last night if you let it time out you got to go all the way through again so keep moving if you want to keep going this is your messages that you can read on the screen if you're tethered to your phone. And now we get into this whole fitness sports area. Here's where your long press. And check out the icons. There's running. And here's walking. And that looks like climbing. Can you see that? Here's bicycling. Uh-huh. Now we got ping pong. And oh, oh, what's that? Dribbling. Looks like dribbling. There's badminton, there's football or soccer, uh-huh, and we're out of it again. So any one of these, long press, we get into it, let's say walking. You want to do walking? Okay, long press again, and there it starts. The diode begins, it's going to start reading your heart rate, it's going to track time down at the bottom, and it's going to give you your calories burned on this one, it looks like, or step count. And when you're done, you just simply press and hold. Give it a moment. It double vibrates. And it's out of it, I guess. Or that paused it. And that reset it. And that's taking us back through all of the sequence. And back to the beginning. Pretty nice, huh? Okay. Now we've got a timer built into it, too. And again, long press will get you into it. Tap starts it. Tap stops it. Tap starts it again. There's no lap time, and it'll stay on the screen in this mode, uh, doing its timing thing until you actually bail out of it. You can uh, not turn it off with the button. You have to long press here. But once you do, you're back to time and you're out of it again. Okay, cycling through to get back to time. The next one is find your phone. Uh, which will make your phone buzz if you're tethered to it. Then brightness. Oh, this is good. It's a little dim right now, right? Because it's only on two. But I can brighten it up and brighten it and brighten it and really brighten it and start all over again. So you have several levels of brightness. Let's go to there. Long press. And we're out of it. That's almost too much. Almost washed out. And then theme theme is your watch face so i'm going to press and now we've got these different watch faces there's that one there's this one which is like a jellyfish then this one here um, a winter scene and an analog one so let's accept that one and see what it looks like may as well put it back on again right so you can see it in context gotta, for me i gotta take it all the way to the edge slide it in over that hand and drop it down and there that's our uh nice watch with an analog display and a variety of different uh data that you can see on it if i want a different one go all the way to themes which is way in here don't overshoot it press and hold let them come up there's that first one again you want to try the jellyfish? All right. There's that one. And it's an animated jellyfish as well. 24-hour time. I think you can change it to um, your regular 12-hour time, but you do that in the app with a switch when you get it tethered. And speaking of tethering, let's take a look at that. The tethering app that you get to from scanning the QR code or downloading it from our um, link in the show notes below the video is called Wear Health from the Google Play. And... You can install it and then open it and then log into your account or set one up, which I've already got going on here. And you open into this page right here. Now, to get 
started. I'm going to go over here to mine and see where it says this device is connected. It's already connected to the watch. It was a simple thing. You just pair them together. Now that it's already connected, uh, we can get in here and take a look at stuff like your user settings, which is where you set up your basic information. You can even put in your choice of skin color that best matches your skin so that uh, when you get your biometrics, you have a better chance of it being more accurate. The map type for Google or a map uh, for the background when you're actually doing uh, workouts using the app itself. We've reviewed this one before in other places, so I'm just going to jump through it here for you. Get you caught up set your targets for these kind of things um shake to make a snapshot you set this up you know and vibrate it and it'll take a picture you can find the device right here see the picture of the uh watch vibrating or flashing and then i'm feeling the vibration in my arm um operating instructions and overall device management here's where you can change things like see the time is in 24 hour mode i can change it to 12 takes it a moment to catch up. I can get units in Imperial if I so choose, reset it, check the latest firmware. You can turn on continuous heart rate. You'll see that in a minute where it monitors that. The twist your wrist to show the time uh, should be on. Hello. Let's reset that one just to make sure. Uh, give it a second. Call reminders and SMS reminders will be notified and pushed to your watch and you can turn on uh, do not disturb for these hours and the watch will be totally silent so you can sleep and not have interference. There you go. Twist works and uh, the time has been set now to 2 o'clock instead of 1400. And then more reminders are all the other uh, apps in your uh, phone. You can selectively turn them on or off as to which ones you want to push information to your watch. That is that section in device management. And that's this whole bottom thing. Care Plus is where you can have friends that are also logged into the, um, the app and you can kind of share data back and forth between each other. Sport, this tab is where you'll get a map of where you are and you could go into doing these sporting activities right straight from your phone. You actually don't even need the watch except it'll send your heart rate and stuff over to it to integrate together with it. But you can do uh, tracks and running and whatever you want to right on the app itself tapping that sport button. And then today, this is our overall information for today. You've got your health index, blood pressure, your sporting step count and distance traveled sleep, and your overall heart rate. And if I hit measurement, and you go through a precise value calibration where you set your normal systolic and diastolic, I think I'm normally 120 over 80, so I can set that and confirm and then it's going to start doing this uh, calibration. You say start measurement. And are you doing it? Start measurement. There we go. Okay, you see on the watch, we've got the uh, stuff flashing to compute the heart rate, a countdown of 30 seconds. We're not seeing the actual heart rate on the watch itself. At this mode, we're seeing an icon telling you that it's engaged and being uh, interrogated. And over here, you're getting the heart rate flashing up here until it gets down to the, the zero, at which time it locks in what your average heart rate was over time and puts it right there. All right. So that's that measurement. Um, capability. Here's our overall blood pressure. There's a reading that we got before and that was transferred from the watch and so forth. Your sleep time from last night and previous nights are, are going to be in here. Your step count information, when it happened throughout the day and so forth. Really quick overview of the app. Okay, so wow, we have got ourselves a sweet little ladies watch that uh, with rhinestones and, and, and cut bezels and a very, very colorful display that has two buttons, an on-off and a cycling button that takes you through the various modes. Now, blood pressure, heart rate, sleep time, all of that, messages, everything is, is on here. A nice, easy-to-use band, and it's coming to us from Rundoing. Where are you, Rundoing? Here's our information. 
you can uh, head down to the show notes and click on the link there, take you over here, look for the discount coupon we've got for you and pick this one up. And oh, by the way, with Valentine's coming up, here's another model that we'll be covering next. Also from Run Doing, I told him I could show it as a kind of a his and a hers. These are two different models that you can use together. This one is actually a crossover. It by itself can work for a woman's watch or a man's watch. So be sure to check out the review on that one. Valentine's time. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We're on the web at smartwatchticks.com and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.